Hello everybody, it's Niklas and I hope you are well for this new video and in this new video I'm going to introduce a interesting software, free software, open source software, it is DigiCam. So this software, it is great because you can manage your photo, your pictures on your computer, you can add different type of filters, you can add uh, you can add a lot of things on your pictures and after you can create different uh, type of search, different type of research. It is also a software where you can edit your picture. So definitely it is very, very great. If you like my videos, subscribe to this YouTube channels. First link on the description, the complete course Digicam is available. So if you want to have a structured course, if you want to learn Digicam step by step, to organize all your photos and to edit all your photos, this course will be perfect and it is on the first link on the description. You will be able to see the models and the session of the course. So let's start with this introduction to Digicam. First, you can go on their website digicam.org and it is a professional photo management with the power of open source. So it is free. Uh, it is totally free. It is open source and it is definitely great. I think if you search something like Lightroom, a great alternative to Lightroom CC Classic, not Lightroom, Lightroom CC Classic, where you can organize your picture and at the same time you can edit your picture. I think this Digicam is definitely the best. You have something interesting like, for example, Darktable, Raw Therapy, but Darktable and Raw Therapy, it is more <laughs> just for photo just for photo editing but with digicam with digicam you can have all the parts of organization of your picture with filters and you can have all the parts of photo editing you have also more things like for example you have um, you have diaporama mode you have also a map mode you have all these type of things so first things to do you can just click on download you select what you want if you work on linux windows or Mac and after you just need to download and you can install this on your computer. So after to do this work, you can open Digicam. And in Digicam, you will have this main dashboard. So first things to do, how to what to how to uh, use this dashboard. Totally on the on the top, you have different options. And when you click on bronze, it is different tabs and it is exactly the same thing that you have on the left. Album, tags, labels, date and more. And all those things, it is exactly the same here. So you have a horizontal tab. You have different mode here at these levels horizontally. And you have also vertically different tools and, and vertically on the right, different tools also. Um, one of the things that you can do is first you can go <laughs> on settings and you can change the theme. So if you don't like too much this theme, you have different type of options, just like that. You can go at settings, theme, or you can select, for example, something in black. After up to you, personally, I prefer the basic theme. It is okay, but you can change. If you need to change the language after, you can go on settings, configure language, and here you have a lot of options. Very great, you have a lot of translation. After something important is to take a glance about here you can configure the toolbar. So it means you can add different things here, but definitely this toolbar is nice. And you can go on settings, configure Digicam. Something important when you start is you have a collection settings. By default, you will have location. So it means when you import picture on Digicam, it is separate from your uh, folder on your computer. So you will have, for example, your picture, your images on your computer, and you will have your images in Digicam on different folders, different folder. It will be separate. So it means after if you delete the pictures in Digicam, it will be deleted only on the Digicam folder, not on the folder that you add at the beginning on your computer. So here is where you want to position to place your Digicam folder. So by default, I position inside my document. If you are not satisfied, you can just buy the default location. You can just click here and you add a collection directly and you can rename. 
So very important, set the root album location. And after to do this work, now I have my albums and my root albums is project. And after I imported different type of images here, classify in a different uh, folder, like for example, different countries where I travel, Estonia, Iceland, uh, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, and Vietnam. Why it is interesting what you can do with about the different mode. The first mode, it is this one, and thanks to that, you can just see your pictures. You can, for example, add different tag on your pictures. If I select, for example, this picture with shift, I can go right click and I will have the possibility, for example, to assign a labels like pick, like colors or a rating. If I want to have all these pictures with five stars, I can apply five. If I want all these pictures with four, I can go right click, assign labels, rating, and I can put four, for example. And here I have, for example, three. So you can add different um, different information on your pictures. You can also add a, a tag mode, extremely useful. You have different tags that you can add. And if I go on tag, I have a tag managers and you can tag all your pictures with what you want. For example, here I have on these pictures, travel and city. Here I have city, monument, travel. Here I have city, monument, travels also, just like that. And it is useful because after you will be able to create a search, for example, and I can tap something here. And if I tap any keyword, like for example, city, and I press enter, I will have all the pictures with the tag city. And you can search different pictures like this with search, but also with the filters uh, panels, just on this area. And now if I just come back, so here you can extend the window on this area, just like this. You can extend also this window when you open something just here. So this is the first type of, of mode. You can just classify, organize your pictures. After you have also a light table mode. So it means you can just have a new window and you can compare your window. For example, I can position a picture here and position another picture here. And I will be able to compare. So now it is useful because you can have different versions with the same pictures and you can compare. So this is a light table. Light table mode, the aim is to compare. After you have also an image editor. So as I can, as I say, when I'm saying it is a great alternative to Lightroom, it's not for nothing. You have different type of mode. I can select, for example, one of these pictures or something different like in Japan. I can select like, uh, I can select these pictures or maybe this one. And I can open the image editor. I have a new window and now we have a new interface. And thanks to that, we can make different, uh, different uh, improvement on the pictures. Let's select another one. If I select this one and I click on image editor, I have, for example, color and I have all this type of adjustment. I have also enhance and I have this type of adjustment. I can also apply some filter like a decoration, add the borders. I can also add different type of effect. If I go on color, I have basic adjustment like uh, use saturation lightness. And I can apply default first. And if I want to increase the saturation, the vibrance, reinforce the color of my pictures, I can use this one. And if I come back on color, I can work also with, for example, uh, you have the curve adjustment. You have levels also. I can use the curves, use default and reinforce the contrast, making one point here, one point here, one point here. And I can reinforce the contrast if I create this type of curve. So you have different parameters like this to improve your pictures, just like that. And you will be able to save directly on this picture or to save as a new version. So now I'm going to come back here. Discard change. And you have more, more things that you can do. You have different tools 
can create a calendar, you can create a panorama, video slideshow. You have also a map mode here. You will be able to tag your pictures directly on a map. And you have different type of option for this one. So let's just come back. I'm going to come back here and select thumbnails to come back to this picture. So definitely we are going to stop here. Introduction to Digicam. What is the potential of this uh, software? Extremely important. You want a um, great alternative to Lightroom CC Classic. This software is great. Free, open source. First link on the description, the complete course is available. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel to continue to follow me. And first link on the description, if you click, you will see the details of the course, what you will be able to learn in this course. The aim is to master Digicam from scratch. So organize all your pictures, import the pictures, organize, uh, try the different modes. And I explain also all the different uh, adjustment in the image editor to improve your pictures and we see also the uh, different type of mode like the map mode, uh, the light table mode, uh, batch queue managers and more. First link on the description and for our next video see you. Ciao, ciao.